So we just uh, uh, covered uh, the lesson on um, polynomial algebra. And the main takeaway from this lesson, other than the Vita formulas, is the fundamental theorem of algebra, which says that theoretically, you can take any degree n polynomial and factor it as t minus, uh, of the product of t minus the roots, where each of those factors is raised to the multiplicity of the roots. So um, that's the theory anyway, but in practice, finding the roots is quite difficult. In fact, we saw that as soon as the degree is five, there's a theorem that says there is no formula that explicitly gives you the roots generally. So uh, finding the roots is tough. Um, there are algorithms that can help though, and Sage has some of these algorithms built in. So um, uh, if we define a polynomial and issue the syntax f dot roots, open close parentheses, this will give us the roots as long as the roots of the polynomial are nice enough. So here uh, I've initialized a variable t. So the syntax for that is var, uh, open parentheses, open quote, t, close quote, close parentheses. And then I've defined a polynomial here. This looks like a quintic polynomial, so degree five. Uh, and this is t to the fifth plus 15 t to the, t to the fourth plus 98 t cubed plus 398 t squared plus 897t plus uh, 1138. So the code that I've written will uh, show us the polynomial that we input so we can check that we put our data in correctly. And then it will tell us the roots of the polynomial as long as the roots are nice enough. So let's click evaluate here. Okay, so it took a second, but we got our result. So here, what's happening is it's telling us the polynomial we just input. So I'm verifying here that uh, this is the correct polynomial that I wanted to study. And then, um, so this really shouldn't, I should really uh, adjust this to say roots. Or how, how about the roots of f of t are. So I'll change the code for that. So I, I reran this and it, it is now telling me what the roots of this polynomial are. Here's how to read the output. The roots here are, the first root is negative seven and the multiplicity of negative seven is one. Then the next uh, tuple here says that the next root is negative three i minus two and the multiplicity is two. And then the next root is three i minus two with multiplicity equal to two. So here, even though it looks like I input a really complicated polynomial, it turns out that the roots here are quite nice. Um, there's only three of them. And uh, Sage is able to find them and then tell me what the roots are. So that's fantastic. Um, however, if the roots are ugly, Sage is just going to crash. So here in the second cell here, I have, I think this is like the same polynomial, but I've changed something. What have I changed? Oh, the only thing I've changed is instead of t to the fifth plus 15t to the fourth, this is now t to the fifth minus 15t to the fourth. And as we're gonna find out in a moment, this subtle change will totally derail the code. So I click evaluate, it'll spit the polynomial out back at me, but then the uh, program will crash. Sage could not find the roots of that polynomial because it's simply too complicated. So, um, uh, so it's nice to have code to help us find roots because finding roots is difficult. Um, but as we're finding here, sometimes the polynomial is just so ugly that finding exact expressions for the roots, roots are, are quite difficult. Of course, we could branch off into a whole uh, other section of math where we could discuss how to numerically approximate the roots. Um, that's not something that I want to do here. I just want to understand what the fundamental theorem of algebra is saying. And if somebody happens to tell me what the roots are, how to interpret that statement. So that's exactly what this code does here.